Okay, I know this looks sketch, but trust me, I'm not being held hostage by Gabby Hanna. Hey, hey, howdy, it's Nikki, and welcome back to my channel. I am not at home. I am in LA, baby. Oh my god, wow, I'm here for one day and I already killed myself. Yes, I'm in LA, don't worry, it has not changed her. I am still as broken alone as I'll ever be. Anyways, I've literally driven for 17 hours, so the crackhead energy is gonna be there today. I was going to upload a whole other video once again, but if you couldn't tell from my unpacked apartment and disgusting unwashed hobo hair, this video was not planned. But of course, as I was literally traveling cross country to LA, Gabby Hanna just had to be the bane of my existence and haunt my life. <laughs> I don't even know what feels worse, my ass, after driving for 17 hours, or having to spend said 17 hours researching and listening to Gabby Hanna's live stream concerts. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the video. Gabby posted a little bit of an update. She has a new channel. A lot is going on and I am here to keep you updated so you don't have to listen to this kitty party series part at this point. But before we do, if you like my face, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because you can join the fam bam and we'd love to have you. Also follow me on TikTok because I'm almost at 200k and I'm gonna stop rambling so we can actually get into the drama. Let's get sipping, let's get dripping, and let's talk some tea. Quick recap in case you haven't watched my other videos, which you totally should because your girl's good. Gabby has been doing her whole little pity party series, a few... <laughs> extra videos that weren't planned part of the series and has overall just been a nuisance on the internet making more enemies than I think freaking Hitler. Along with that, she has been posting on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. She literally got cuckoo police come into her house. <laughs> cuckoo police. Wellness checking. When you're on Onision levels of having the police or like the insane asylum come to your house, you know you've done bad. So where do I want to start? Um if I want to start at all. Gabby has been releasing the series every day. Jake Paul vibes every day, bro, with that Gabby Hanna flow. And then people started getting pissed. I mean, with evidence as strong as a text from 10 years ago, it's pretty easy to refute the claims that Gabby was spitting out. Especially when people like Joey, Jesse, so many people have actual evidence to refute what Gabby's throwing at the wall. She slowed down on uploads and some people actually did start taking Gabby's side. That is when Jesse came out with her actually interesting expose that literally slam dunked Gabby's reputation into the trash. To finish up the recap, Gabby, as of very recently, made an Instagram post and a response Response in her sorry I'm late kind of music video being like I'm leaving the internet throw the series at the wall watch it hate me love me let me live I'm done bye but did Gabby do that of course not <laughs> she hasn't done either of those things yet still says that she's sick and so disassociated from the internet she doesn't even know what's going on the one thing I do agree with with Gabby she does not know what's going on just in life in general. Besides the point, she has still been on the internet. She has not taken a break at all. I was hoping she would live up to at least like one of those promises more towards the leaving the internet, but my hopes are shattered again. And the biggest latest news that has kind of been coming out is she said she was going to private her Instagram and Twitter because she wants to just leave it to the real fans and people who respect her for her art and her music. And can you guess what she didn't do? that. And it just is so sus that she didn't even do that. I mean, she announced that everywhere. She announced it on YouTube, which like is the stupidest place to announce stuff. I'm sorry. That's like a separate rant. She clearly wanted people to see that she was going to do that, but then she doesn't do it. You can still see all of Gabby's weird stomach pics and weird on TikTok. So I don't understand what she's doing, what her MO is, and why she does anything, honestly, at this point. And instead of releasing the series in her entirety, like she said she was going to do, she has instead proceeded to make a video on her second account, which is like what the, her podcast used to be on. I don't remember the name, but I'll go like, actually, no, I'm not gonna promote it because I do not want to promote Gabby's account. You can go search the freaking dark web if you want to see it. But I will put a, like a screenshot of the video. Yeah, she pretty much bringing that TikTok craziness to YouTube with her eye rolling to Freddie Mercury. It's a trip, guys. Take a look in the mirror and cry. 
loves to me. And if I thought that one wasn't long enough, like that one was like eight minutes long, she then proceeded to do a live stream on her other YouTube channel of her doing a full on Gabby Hanna concert, which last thing I checked, I did not pay for. <laughs> Bro, that speaker just put my vibe. She is truly trying to step into this cuckoo singer persona. She knows or she thinks that it gets her attention, which it really doesn't because I don't even think the live stream got more than like 40,000 views. She thinks she's doing something, so good on you. Like she said in another video that she's doing all this because she wants to be free and released and feeling like she can be herself again. You're not doing this for freedom. You're not doing this for relief. You're not doing this for redemption. You're doing this for attention. Like Jake Paul, like Tana Mojo, like Trisha Paytas, like Jeffree Star. Gabby, you can't handle when you're not in the spotlight, whether it be negative or positive, you like your name in the press. It's just this ego that can't shut up. As Shane would say, an ego as big as the Empire State Building. And again, I'm gonna use my little Lord and Savior Peter Mon. He gives a great little explanation and I'm already tired of talking, so. She should've put the series out, let it drop, let it do its damage, let people say what they have to say, and she should've started posting her music and her painting videos again. She don't care about that. No, she cares about the views, the subscribers, and the money, okay? That's why she keeps on feeding this out. Yeah. That's kind of the gist. As I said, the difference between like Tana, Trisha, Jeffrey, and Gabby Hanna is that these people, compared to Gabby, are business smart. They understand how to run a multi-million dollar business. Or Jake, with these kids, he knows how to manipulate, as Gabby would say, be a master manipulator to the masses. I mean, they know how to make money and keep that coin flowing. Whereas Gabby thinks she does, but I don't see her making millions of dollars off of this on the internet. The one thing I did want to point out, I'm kind of forward tracking, but I did check Gabby Hanna's Instagram as of yesterday. She's posting stories like usual, literally just acting like nothing's wrong, just hanging out with friends. And I think the most surprising thing to me though, is I am kind of uncomfy with the amount of positive attention that she's getting. I looked at her recent Instagram post, which is right there. She's getting comments such as things that say, I'm so happy you're out there living your best life today. She's glowing. You'll say what you want about Gabby, but she's stunning. Also not gonna lie, love her music. We need more content, baby girl. No, we don't, please do not encourage her. I was shocked by that and I wasn't gonna include that in the video, but like my brain is actually blown. I mean, these comments are better than James Charles's comment page. So I don't know if she's deleting comments, kind of conspiracy mode, but yeah, people are supposedly forgiving Gabby Hanna, which is a scary thought for my mind. And anyways, I have another point from Peter Mon because literally I just, I listen to him more than my own parents. So I'm gonna put that in and she even did what I am gonna do for this video is the thumbnail is where her eyes are crossed, okay? That is literally like one eighth of a second because they won't watch a Gabby Hanna video unless they're worried about her. Exactly. Gabby, you are the drama. You can't detach from the drama because that's all you care about. You like being the crazy cuckoo girl on TikTok. You like being this expose series that doesn't even expose anybody at the end of the day because you think that you're so in the right and this little manipulator that you don't even realize that you're crazy. I mean, maybe she does. I. I don't even know. I'm just a little commentator on YouTube. Don't, don't at me. At the end of the day, I don't think Gabby truly cares at this point. I think she's just rock bottom, could give a f and live in her little cancellation life. She has this mindset that's so much like, I can't stop, I need to keep going, nonstop Hamilton. And it's just sad because it seems like she really thinks that she's doing something when She's just not. I mean, she is clearly aware of the negative press that she is getting besides that weird comment section because she literally titled her live stream and the Freddie Mercury cover, Gabby Hanna needs to be stopped and I'm not okay, which is a reference to the Gabby Hanna needs to be stopped video by Jesse Smiles and the I'm not okay. I mean, that one's just clearly clickbait because people definitely don't think Gabby's okay since they literally sent a wellness check to her house. So yeah, she's doing this purely because she knows that it'll get attention. Gabby, of course, is gonna explain this all as her little trolling behavior, which I think is BS. I think her trolling behavior is a torn up cry for help as she literally rolls her eyes and flips us off in the process. Like we've seen in the past, Rachel Oates, literally any drama channel, Gabby Hanna does not take criticism well. Relentlessly, she can't up. And it's because when she talks about me, she gets hundreds of thousands to millions of views, and then she 
she posts a little makeup, get ready with me, and gets 4,000. She lashes out. And with this situation, she knows that people are mad. She knows that people are criticizing her, which she doesn't like. So she's purposely going out of her way to know that she looks crazy. She probably knows she's in the wrong, but has too big of an ego to leave, sort out her problems, and heal her brain. Which is why she ultimately did not private those accounts. She didn't release the series as a whole. She didn't do any of her promises because that's not who Gabby is. She thinks chaos and elongating this series for as long as she can is going to get her more relevancy and more clout on the internet. I mean, I don't even know how she thinks that this series is going to help her at this point anymore because the views as this has gone down has just gotten progressively lower. They started around like 300 to 500,000 views and then the Escape the Night one got a million because that was just a train wreck in itself. As of now, the Freddie Mercury one got like maybe a hundred thousand views I think as of right now and the live stream got less than a hundred thousand views. What are you gaining from this? Maybe a little bit of money? Not much. <laughs> Literally the people speaking out against you are getting more views than all of your series combined. And at this point I don't know how any of this is going to end with any semblance of clarity or just good for the world in general. Not that it ever was gonna be Mother Teresa for the world in the slightest. It just does not seem like this is gonna end well or ever. This series is not going to get you a record deal. It's not going to get you new sponsors. It's clearly not going to get you new friends. And it's definitely not going to get you any more sanity, Gabby. Gabby, you need some help. Not being a hater, just some advice. You need to see a mental health professional. Badge, I'm singing my songs and vibing. I smoked a joint and I'm giving a concert to my fans on live stream. Like, what the f are you talking about? Use the metaphor of moving. That's clever. Gabby, you try to throw all your baggage and all your boxes behind you and speed off in the other direction, but moving away is not going to get rid of it. Trust me. I know. Why not? Why not? Instead of trolling, trolling with your little butt hurt singing pity party with the runtime as long as Disney's Moana you could use your series for good. I don't honestly know if change is possible at this point. I mean, she has burnt so many bridges and just done so much wrong, but it seems like it's pretty much your only option. Unless you just, you know, want to be seen as the female mod of Onision, but you know, you do you. So yeah, change I think is possible with anyone. I think, I, I think, hopefully. You always say that people don't ever donate to the charities that you promote. Donation to the fucking fund. You ignored her. You don't give a f about the family because the only reason you're saying anything now is because you're being called out. Make a series dedicated to those charities or make a song about giving back and being a charitable person in society. Yes, it may be a little bit Disney Channel, but it is better than this. <laughs> make videos showing the healing process, showing the undersides to mental health and not just saying that your ADHD is your excuse for everything that you do and everything under the sun. The entire world is not gaslighting you. The entire world are not your little narcissistic abusers. Make a series learning what those terms mean. Do something positive instead of literally anything you do now. You get help. Your worldview is strange. <laughs> At the end of the day, there are so many better ways to use and grow your audience organically and just in a positive and healthy way on the internet. I think the point, <laughs> if I ever get to it, that I'm trying to get at is that Gabby doesn't want to work. I think that is her crux. She has been pretty much exposed to the easy lane of YouTube all the way of her career until now. She started at such a young age like the Tanas and like the Daniel Coins and like the bad babies. Dad! She got used to this clout chasing and money making mentality. Now that she's not as relevant as she used to be, she's having a pretty rude awakening. And as Peter Mon would say, acting out like a little child who is not getting their way. I do believe 100% now that this Gabby Hanna series and everything else is all just attention seeking. I don't know what it's about other than that. I mean, she is just poking the bear of everybody trying to piss everybody off, okay? She knows that through the little cuckoos on TikTok and crazy Instagram stories and through this whole series, she's going to get quick and fast attention. And since she is getting money, even if it's not a crazy amount, she's still getting money through this trolling behavior. It is not going to make her... It is, she is not going to stop. She is entitled, even though she would say she is not, she is privileged. And she definitely does not have the ability to apologize to Jessie Smiles. So yeah, finishing thoughts, I don't think she's going anywhere. I don't know where this series is going at this point, but as long as Gabby can keep making her coin for her weed and cover band covers, Gabby's not going anywhere. <laughs>
I am really tired. Again, drove 17 hours while listening to Gabby Hanna. So I am going to finish this one off with a bang. Okay, that has been your update on the Gabby Chronicles, the pity party. Really quick, um, thank you for all the new subscribers. It has been so sweet. Anyways, I would really love it if we could try to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. I don't know. Is that a goal? Sure, let's try. Anyways, if you like my face, feel free to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join the family because we'd love to have you. Also, follow me on TikTok because I'm almost at 200k. It's been Nikki. I will see you in the next T video. I'm bad at talking, and bye!